Hi guys. Well, so many people have been asking me how to do this on the Windows PC, and here it is. Low content book publishing for passive income that anyone can follow. Now, this is a really good way to make steady, um, almost no attention income. And you know what it is, notebooks and things like that. So let's have a look. In less than a day, it can take you to publish your first low content book. Now, there's very little preparation involved in this. It depends how complex you want to make your little book. So what are low content books? Travel journals, guest books, diaries, daily planners. They're the simplest to create because they contain nothing but page after page of blank lines or lined journals, if you like. But you can, of course, make more complex books like puzzles, cutout books, coloring books, things like that. Have a look around Amazon. There are thousands of really great ideas. Now, passive income is ideal for digital nomads. Idea to sales in just a few days because they're quick to produce. You don't need a website nor an email list. Very little or no upfront costs. No marketing, no inventory. Low content journals are not get rich quick bestsellers, by the way. They do generate passive income that you can build on as your list grows. And you need to build up a large list. So keep producing. The sales will come and I'll show you how. Some of the best or highest sellers on Amazon have over 200 uh, different type of um, digital journals, if you like. Low content books. There's hundreds of them. And eventually, everybody buys notebooks, so eventually someone will buy one of yours. And if it's a really good one and really easy to manage, they'll come back. Now, what you'll learn in this tutorial, the step-by-step -step process of developing your first low-content publication using Affinity Publisher. Develop your book cover specific to your idea using Affinity Publisher. And the easy steps to take to be published on KDP. They couldn't make it easier, seriously. So let's get started. Creating our first simple low content book. So open Affinity Publisher. We're going to start very simply with a 6x9 portrait style image right from the preset list. So grab something that's in inches because you're going to need to convert it anyway. So go right ahead. Create your own preset. 6x9, 300 dpi, 120 pages, default master and select facing pages. Select transparent background off. KDP will complain loudly if you send transparencies to them. The margins should be 0.75 and 0.5 for the outer edges, top and bottom of 0.5. Now you can see on the right hand side there, the margins, the inner margin is 0.75 and the outer, top, bottom and that's it, 0.5. Now the bleed is 0 inches on the inner because there's no bleed to cut off on the inner. The outer is 0.125 all around. Easy. Now you may remove the bleed or disable the bleed when you're in preview, but when you upload it to KDP, KDP will require bleed. So always put it, whether you've got graphics there or not. Now, here we have a master A page and the required number of pages is showing below the master page panel. You're probably familiar with that, or you will be soon. Don't worry, you can always add or remove pages from the project as you need. Now, to set up the master, this is master A. Now what I've done first here is set it up on page 1, just to show you, but I'll remove that and put it in the master shortly. Select the master page, add a plain white rectangle within the margins. Next, add the grid so you can easily see where the lines are. Draw a series of rule lines across the page and each line, which is actually a stroke, goes from margin to margin 
and is 0 0.5 points in width. So that's the line you're going to draw, the stroke. Each line on the page is 0.5 of a point wide. Now let's get to the detail. Now the master A, to add the ruled lines, I'm showing page 1 here, remember, you should use master page A. Don't be confused by the fact that I'm showing you page 1. It's just a little bit easier in this instance to show that. Add a grid to the page and set the intervals of the grid at 0.333. That's the distance apart your lines are on that A4 page. Select the pen tool and click on the screen at the margin top for the first node. Move the cursor to where you want the line to end. Hold the shift key down and click to make a straight line. Press escape to deselect the end node because if you then go back to the next line and click it you'll get a line drawn from where you last were to where you are. So you need to press escape to deselect or you can go up to um, select and select deselect, select in the toolbar. But escape is easier. Adjust the stroke width and colour to suit. Now I've set it at 0.5. You may like it something different and you might like it a different colour. Remember to keep this simple when you're printing, it's black anyway. Very cheap. If you select colour, KDP will happily produce them in colour and adjust the price accordingly. Now, add the lines to the master page. Add 25 lines margin to margin, then create a group for the lines. 25 on each page of the master. That's left and right. The top is at 0.5 and the last at 8.5. So each line is 0 0.3 repeating apart. Use the guides manager to add guides to follow or do a cut and paste. Now, this is your master page complete. You can see I did them all on that A page, page 1, and then just copied the group and pasted it onto the master page and I've pasted it twice and then moved one across to the left hand side and you can see that there where it is. It fits neatly in the margins. Up there you've got the left page and the right page, that's in your master page and you think that's going to double, that's going to double entry them on the following pages because I already put them on page one. Go to page one and remove it. Remove that layer from page one. The lines will still appear, but you won't have double the amount on page one. Now, page one is your inner title page. So, select page one. On page one, we only want something to act as a title page. We don't want lines on that page. And as we don't want any lines on that page, then when you have the title in place, right-click the thumbnail page and clear the master that is applied to that page. See, I've got page 1 selected there now. Because the master has all the lines on it, page 1 is showing the lines. Of course it will. But right-click on that thumbnail, not the big page on the right-hand side, but right-click on the thumbnail, and when it comes up, just click Clear Masters. And guess what? It'll clear the master that's applied to this page. The master cleared from the page and you can now turn off the grid as well. You don't want the grid there. It's of no use now. And you've got a title. This journal belongs to. Now that's page one. That's your inner title. Inner title page, right? A book has a title. That's not the cover of the book. That's the inner first page. Fairly self-explanatory there, I hope. With the master cleared from the page, the ruled lines no longer show. You now have a nice clear title page. Looks lovely. All other pages have the ruled lines on them, and that's just what you want. Can you believe it? We're nearly ready to export the body of our low-content book. But we'll leave it for a moment while we do the cover. For that, we need a separate file. That makes sense, doesn't it? The cover is not 
the interior of the book. Now you're doing a cover here with the help of KDP. Now when you're happy with that, you can export it. For preview, turn off bleed. Turn it back on for export to KDP. Select all pages, not spreads. You can see it says the area, all pages, don't do spreads. KDP doesn't want to know about spreads, it'll just it reject it out of hand. So set your export to all pages. Now we're going to do the cover. And of course you've got your PDF document sitting in your downloads directory where you can find it again really easily. First you want to decide on a title for your book. And this is what appears on the front cover of your book. The same as the outside as that first page you just created. Make sure you make them both the same. KDP does check actually, so make sure you make them both the same. And don't copy somebody else's work. KDP will see it and just reject it. If you download a book from the internet and think, oh, I can use that and just send it in, don't. KDP will know and they will reject it. And there's nothing more disappointing. So don't worry too much about it at this stage. This is your first test book just to follow the process. The next thing is to find some nice imagery for the cover. Make sure it's free to use. You don't want to break copyright. So download the imagery, then go to KDP and download the correct cover template. Go to this web address, and you can see it there, kdpamazon.com slash enus slash cover templates. Enter the trim size of 6x9, page count 200, and paper color white. Download the file, and next open your PDF cover template from its zip file in Affinity Publisher. So it'll download a, a zip file, and in the zip file is a PDF and a PNG. Open the PDF cover template in Affinity Publisher. Now I've decided to name my journal, My Travel Journal. This will be the title on the front cover as well. And if you wander around KDP on Amazon, you'll see My Travel Journal there. It's already uploaded, so if you try and use it, <laughs> they'll see it and reject yours. Open the downloaded PDF in Affinity Publisher, and there it is in all its splendor. Everything is neatly in place. You can't go wrong. It's the right size, the right shape. It tells you where everything goes. Easy. Study that in some detail. Now, the KDP open in Affinity Publisher. Change the template size to inches. It'll probably be in points or millimeters or some other strange format. Just change it to inches. Makes it easy to deal with. And check your bleed. Left, right, top and bottom is 0 0.125. That's that one there. Very good. Now, add a layer over the top of this existing template. So what you want to do is pull out a layer from the top left hand corner of the pink margin or oh, is it pink? Yes, it's a kind of a pink down to the bottom right hand corner. Completely cover it. So let's have a look at the template. <laughs> template. We firstly have a layer positioned over the top now. On that layer we need to put the title. You don't need a subtitle. This is a low content book, remember. So drag out a white rectangle to cover the entire cover, right up to the edge of the bleed lines. 19, uh, 12 12.7 by 9.25 inches, the exact size of the template. Now reduce the opacity to about 60%, so you can see the template beneath that rectangle, just like that. Set the layer opacity to about 60%. You'll bring it back up to full opacity later. Otherwise, you may risk, run the risk of printing <laughs> your template, which will look really weird on a book, I'm sure. Add a picture frame. You can see the three layers now sitting above the template. Layer 1, rectangle, picture frame. Now I'm going to put a texture layer over the whole cover spread to simulate old paper stock. In that picture frame, I'm putting a texture, an old paper. Now that looks like really old paper. The paper texture applied to the entire cover. 
right out to the bleed edge. 12.7 by 9.25 you can see in the Transform Studio there. Reduce its opacity to about 50 to 80 percent. So you can just see your template underneath it still. That's fairly straightforward. You still with me? Very simple. The paper texture applied to the entire cover and its opacity is reduced in this case to 60 percent. And you can see it goes right out to the edges. It'll be cut off at the bleed. That's fine. That's just what you want because the trim size will be correct in that case. Now, this is my title image. I want to put something travel related on the front cover. Something people will be attracted to. A nice travel poster that I'll simplify. I only want my travel journal on the cover. See, that says travel around the world. I'm going to change that to my travel journal. Again, the image is dragged out to the bleed edge. There isn't anything important in that area that can't be cut out. See, the words travel around the world are just inside the safe area. Now to add the actual title, spine title and back cover matter. That's fairly easy. A couple of pen strokes. The title, make it your own. Opacity reduced and centred on the page. The artistic text font Paytone 1 is used, although you can use any font you like, of course. Text is well inside the boundaries. You can see you've got the safe area, the margins and the bleed well inside the boundaries. The white rectangle for the ISBN number supplied by KDP goes on the bottom side and covers that yellow triangle. So, place a colour matched rectangle over the original. In my case, I've, I've put a rectangle over there, use the eyedropper to match the exact colour of the existing um, title that's there, which is a dark blue, so you don't get any funny bleed colour bleeds across the thing. Use the eyedropper to match the colour. You should be fairly familiar with doing that. And I've written in my travel journal and you can see it fits nicely inside there and is a nice dark blue background matches the rest. I've got my travel journal for the spine. Now depending on how many pages you have, I think it's a minimum of 100 pages but anything between 100 and 150 you won't get a, a spine big enough to put text on. So just observe that in the, read that carefully in the KDP instructions. And you can see the white rectangle there covering the pink one in the template. Now that's the final cover that will be uploaded to KDP, ready for printing. I've turned the text that way, but it doesn't really matter whether, it's, whether it runs correctly or not because I've got a sneaking suspicion that this doesn't have enough pages to, um, to use a spine title. And I've got copyright notice on the left hand side there as well. So that's what your cover will look like. Now to publish it. If you haven't already, head over to KDP to create your account. Once you've done that, you can begin publishing. Log into your account and select Paperback Book Details and the mandatory fields are as follows. The book title, the author, just use your own name. Um, if you use a pen name, eh, it can get confusing, especially if you forget what your pen name is. Just use your own name. If you forget your own name, you're in serious trouble. Description. Well, you all know about descriptions. You should try and attract potential customers to your book with that description. Publishing rights. Check I own the copyright and hold all the necessary publishing rights, which you do, I presume. Categories. Choose up to two categories that you think will help customers find your book. And if you know anything about searching for categories, 
Well, if you put them in really popular categories, you're competing with a million other people. If you put it in something like growing strawberries in a greenhouse category, you'll probably be the only book in there and people will certainly see it. If it's adult content, check no. Unless, of course, your book does contain adult content, in which case it's hardly a, mm, a book that will fit in this genre. Adding keywords is optional, but it's one of the most important ways for your book to gain visibility. Use all seven slots. KDP does have rules surrounding use of keywords, so be sure to read them. You'll find them in your account area here at that address. When you have everything entered, hit save and continue. For PDF, you must enter yes for bleed. Print ISBN, click to get a free KDP ISBN. Print options, interior, paper size, black and white interior on white paper. Trim size, 6x9. That's the finished size of your book, and then you want it 6x9. Bleed settings, no bleed. Now, this is a PDF you're uploading, so you must enter yes. Change that to yes. Paperback cover finish, matte. You don't want a glossy paper cover. The pages bend and fold outwards and look really, really, really dreadful. Manuscript. Upload the line journal, my travel journal PDF that you previously created. The book cover. Upload the PDF of your book cover. Book previewer. Click launch previewer to launch a digital preview of your book. I would strongly advise you to do this. Check it through. Read the detail that comes up on the side carefully. But if there's no errors there, click Save and Continue. Simple so far. Rights and Pricing. Territories. Click All Territories. Worldwide Rights, unless otherwise required. Just click that. Pricing and Royalty. Choose a reasonable price based on what others are priced at. You can always change it later. But... Um, KDP will tell you what it costs to print the book and you want to make a profit on that anywhere from 22% to 1,000% depending, uh, <laughs> depending on how silly a price you want. Expanded distribution. Check this if you would like to make your book available to bookstores, online retailers, etc. Other marketplaces. Leave the preset amounts. Terms and conditions. Click to confirm and then click publish your paperback book. Congratulations! Things to note. Bleed PDF. Yes, that has to be selected. Now, on the top right hand side there, that image says manuscript my travel line journal uploaded successfully. Wait till you see that before you proceed. Same with the cover. Cover uploaded successfully. Wait for these to complete and process. If you try and jump ahead, you can sometimes you can sometimes make <coughs> you can sometimes have a mistake there, and um, you'll have to go back and do it all again. Now, my book was successfully published, and there it is: my travel journal by Robert Anthony Chalmers, five pounds and four p. Now, the book will go into um, review at that stage. Don't start an e-book. There's not much point in making a line journal into an e-book if you can't write on them. The in-store review. Discounting the initial publisher setup, which really took about an hour, the KDP part was about 10 minutes. A more complex book would take longer, maybe two hours. But remember, these are profitable, low-content books that you can write now. Now, it's in review. Sometimes they can pass review in a day. Sometimes it can take weeks. If there's something vaguely dodgy about your book, the automatic uh, reading device that they use will flag it and um, one of their staff will have to review it in person. And that can then take sometime. So don't start writing letters, don't start complaining loudly. 
Just wait for it to pass review. When it does, you'll get an email. If it doesn't, if there's something dreadfully wrong with it, they'll send you an email saying, you've got transparent pages in this book. Ah, so really, um, that'll probably be in the image that's on your cover. You've got a PNG that's got transparency set. Just go back, flatten the image and upload it again. And there you go. It's usually really very simple. If you've taken somebody else's work and are trying to publish it as your own, uh, well, you know what the consequences there will be. <laughs> you could lose your account altogether. Okay, but I know you won't do that. So, that's about it, I think. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. See you next time.